This project represents a bookmark that will cut with round corners. If I launch the window menu, output, and then separations preview, I can see that the colors in this project are going to print with cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And if I change the view mode to separations, we can change the channels to see just where the artwork is applied. However, when we set up a project for a die line, the color that we use to create the die line, so I need to open the swatches panel window, color and swatches, it must be identified as a die line color. If we look at the separations preview panel, you can see that it's not set up that way. There is a die line when I turn the die line layer on and off, but when I select that item, see how none of the colors on the swatches panel are highlighted? It means that I just chose a random yellow color, but I didn't save it. To save this as a spot color to represent a die line, with it active in your stroke color and the stroke color being in the foreground, you can hit the new swatch icon in the bottom right hand corner of the swatches panel and then double click on it to launch a swatch options dialog box. From here we can make it a spot color and we can rename it die line. Now when we look at the separations preview panel, we can turn off all of the colors except for the die line and see exactly where the die line will be in the finished product. However, if we're going to set up a die line for a specific printer plotter, so in our lab we have a Roland Versacam SP300i. If I want to send this and I want to make rectangular stickers on the machine because it could make stickers, it can't actually cut all the way through the piece of paper, I could set this up with a die line for that printer. However, if I send them a file that just says die line, the printer won't recognize that color and it would literally print yellow and so it would look more like this. So to set this up for the specific printer in our lab, we must load the color swatch that represents where it would cut. It's called cut contour. But you can't load it. It's not provided to you as a .asc file. It's provided as a swatch library. To load that swatch library, you can create a new color swatch, or in our case, since I already have the color that I want, I've already set up the die line, I'm going to convert this die line to be the specific die line color I need. To load a swatch library, either launch the new swatch dialog box or the swatch options dialog box, and then on the color mode drop down, change that to the very last option at the bottom that says other library. When you select other library, if you have a swatch library on your computer, it'll be saved as a .ai file, and so you need to find where you've saved that. You can see here that I am selecting the Roland VersaWorks.ai file, and I'll choose Open. When I do this, it automatically redirects me to the Roland VersaWorks library, and if I hit that color mode dropdown, you can now see that I still have all these other swatch libraries that were already in InDesign, but if I scroll to the bottom, I will now have the Roland VersaWorks available. And from here, I can choose Cut Contour, which is the specific spot color I must use for this specific piece of equipment. And so now when I select it and choose OK, I can select that swatch, um, the die line uh, path that's going to create the die line. And when I look at the swatches panel, you can see it's now linked to Cut Contour. For this specific purpose, I cannot change it. I can't change the color and I can't change the name because the machine will only recognize this specific swatch as a spot color. And then if we check it again, we can go back to the separations preview panel. You can turn off CMYK, which is how all the color will print, and then we're left with a die line that just represents the path on which the machine will cut.